Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we are finally decorating for Christmas. I'm so excited because this year we have our family room complete and I thought it would be the perfect room to bring in a second Christmas tree. So this year we're decorating two Christmas trees. I'm decorating them a little bit differently, implementing some DIY projects that you guys can do as well. This year my focus is candlelight, ribbon, velvet, and greenery. So I hope this video gives you some ideas for your holiday decorating this year. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and get decorating. I've had our Christmas tree set up for a few days now. This is my favorite view, being able to see into the family room and also see our main Christmas tree in the living room. This year I'm doing something different in the family room. I'm setting up the Christmas tree on a rotating tree stand. I found it at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off and I thought, why not? It would make this family room super magical. So I actually got a new Christmas tree this year for this space since the space is finally done. I thought it deserved a larger Christmas tree in here. This one is purposely a little bit more sparse and I liked the idea of that so I could highlight my ornaments more, but look how incredible it looks lit up and rotating. It just adds a touch of magic to the space and if you're wondering, the cords do not get wrapped around the Christmas tree. It's actually purposely made so that nothing gets tangled. On to our main Christmas tree. This is a tree that I've had for three years now. It's a nine foot flocked Christmas tree from Home Depot and I love it. I love the way it glimmers with the lights. It's very easy to set up. It's just extremely tall, so I need to get on a ladder to reach the top of it, but it really works with my home color palette. I really like to keep things cohesive and soft and I think this is such a beautiful look in this corner. I call this little corner of our house the Christmas corner because it really is the perfect spot for the Christmas tree. Now that both trees are set up, let's get decorating. When it comes to picking my holiday color scheme, I really build off of my existing home color palette. This year I'm working in my wall art colors as well as paint colors that I use around my house. I love mixing those deep colors with a lighter color palette so that it really creates some depth. So to create this look, I've shopped for some new deep brown ornaments, but I also made my own to match the color palette of my house. If you have extra wall paint around your home left over, you can do this as well. The green is from my front door paint, this is from my guest bedroom paint, and this is from my family room paint. So I created these textured matte ceramic looking ornaments out of these plain plastic ornaments from Michaels. You can use acrylic paint or your existing wall paint, mix it with baking soda so that it becomes thick and textured like a plaster, and then you can just paint it on your ornaments and you can layer it up as thick as you want, as textured as you want to really create your own look. I let the ornaments dry overnight and painted the top caps with a rub and buff. I chose gold leaf so it really matched all the other accents around my home, but I love the way they turned out. You can attach a ribbon to these, you can hang them on hooks, but it really does create an instant cohesive effect around your home. If you can't find ornaments that are the color palette that you've been looking for, make your own. It's super easy and you'll end up with a really unique look. Now the tree's looking great, but a little pale. So I wanna bring in some depth with darker colors, like these brown velvet ornaments. Velvet is a huge trend right now, especially when it comes to holiday decor. So any way you can incorporate velvet, definitely do. Always like to incorporate metallic back into the Christmas tree so these gold ornaments I found at home goods are the perfect touch and then bringing in a small detail with gold pine cones these are also from home goods I think they're so pretty and it just adds that somewhat natural touch to this artificial Christmas tree yeah. 
bells are another classic detail you can add all over your home for the holidays. This year I'm hanging these mini bells all over my Christmas trees. I like using berry sprays to add texture to the Christmas tree and burgundy is definitely going to be the color that ties together my entire home this year. It's deep and rich and you can incorporate it in so many ways. I really wanted to go all out with ribbon this year because I think if you're going to get any kind of holiday decor, just get ribbon because you can do so much with it. I'm tying bows all over my Christmas tree with long tails to really create a whimsical classic look. If you have an artificial Christmas tree, you definitely need these sensicles. I use these every year and they make my entire house smell like I have real Christmas trees around here. They just hook right onto your Christmas tree. They come with little hooks. You can stick them all over your Christmas tree and it will make your house smell incredible. Now let's work on the mantle. My mantle is very slim. It doesn't have much depth to it, so I don't have a ton of room to play around with. So I'm hanging my garland using these jumbo command hooks. I've tried messing around with regular sized command hooks before and all my garland usually falls off the next day. So these definitely do the trick. They are heavy duty. And I'm hanging two strips of this garland that I found at World Market. I love the way it looks. It feels very realistic and it's easy to layer with. I like garland that I can layer in other types of garland and different sprays and florals to really make it thicker and create a custom look. So I always recommend layering. I think that's the biggest trick when it comes to styling holiday decor. Layer it up and you'll get the most ideal look. I'm using these deep red berry stems to create a little bit more of an organic look. So again, layering them in to go in different directions really creates a unique style and shape to your garland. You can definitely add more and make it as big as you want, but I love the direction that all of the greenery and stems move in. It just creates so much movement. Now I love the way my garland looks without lights during the day, but at night I feel like it kind of disappears into the background behind the Christmas tree. So I'm lighting it up with just a set of string lights to really bring it to life at night. My favorite way to decorate a mantle is with candlelight and I'm using my favorite battery powered candles. These have the most realistic look. They have the exact same color as a real flame. They glimmer and glow. They're on timers and they're just my favorite thing we have in the house. Just remember when styling candles, make sure to use different heights and sizes to get a really dynamic look. Wow. I think this is my favorite Christmas corner of all year so far. This is so cute. This is where we do our family photos for the holidays and it turned out so amazing. Now let's add some simple touches to the dining area here. I like decorating these mirrors differently every year, but this year we're going with matching wreaths. I'm hanging them using suction hooks, just attaching that to that mirror. And I think it's the perfect thing for large mirrors like this. I'm finishing them off with burgundy bows to tie together all the red around the house. Such a small an easy touch that goes a very long way. Just like the fireplace mantle, we're layering in some candlesticks and battery powered candles. I like how romantic and classic a dinner table looks with simple candles like this. I've thrifted some of these candlesticks, got them from the dollar store, Ikea. There's a big mix here, but I like the way it all looks layered together. The 
house is feeling so cozy already. Now let's add some small touches to the living room here. An easy place to start is with some coffee table styling. I'm using a lot of existing decor that I have, opening up this Christmas book onto a beautiful page, styling some red stems, and adding in a large ornament for fun. If you want to do something different to your home this year that's affordable, easy, and makes a big impact, just get a roll of ribbon. Any color, any size, and you can create an instant Christmas look around your home just by tying some simple bows. Now our staircase here is right in the middle of the house, so it definitely needs some garland. I'm using my flocked garland that matches our Christmas tree to run it up the staircase here. I'm using zip ties to install it this year because, again, command hooks didn't hold it last year. They kept popping off, and this was so much faster and easier and feels way more secure. So I got clear zip ties to just tie it all up and make sure it's secure for the season. switching it up this year and hanging our stockings on the railing. I think this is a great alternative to hanging them on your mantle if you want to try something new, if you don't have the space for it, or if you don't have a fireplace. You can finish off your staircase with some cute little stockings and a nice bow. Now I'm just making some small changes to our entryway here to tie it all together for the season. I'm adding in a scented candle that smells like a Christmas tree so you can smell it right when you walk through the door and switching out my floral stems for some pine stems that really create a holiday effect. I love how thick and bushy they are. They actually are the matching stems to the garland on the fireplace. So I think this is the perfect way to tie it all together. If you don't wanna bother with setting up a full Christmas tree this year, you can get stems like this to fill any vase around your home. If you want to hang garland in an entryway, I learned this very easy hack from a creator named Wendy. You can use an adjustable tension rod or shower curtain rod, wrap your garland around, and simply push it up to the height you wish. This can work in any entryway if you get the right size tension rod. It makes it super easy. You don't have to nail your garland in or use command strips. So if you have an entryway that you'd love to decorate, definitely try this out. It is game changing. Now into the coziest room of the home. This is one of my favorite spaces. This is our family room that I recently made over this year. We are decorating this spinning Christmas tree with ornaments that really go with the entire room design. So I'm bringing in those matching paint color ornaments. It's the color Intrigue by Benjamin Moore. It's that beautiful green blue and accenting it with brown and gold ornaments to tie it all together. Since I'm all about the candles, I also got these flickering clip-on candles that are battery powered from Amazon. You can clip them right onto the stems of the Christmas tree and it looks like floating candles. And of course, adding in some more bows, I'm using beige velvet bows all over the Christmas tree. And of course, adding in my sensicles to create that realistic scent. And 
just like that, we have holiday magic throughout the entire main floor of the house. It feels like a warm, welcoming storybook in here. It feels magical and romantic. I love the way the holiday decor just seamlessly works into my existing decor and just looks like it's always meant to be there. Okay, that was an entire day of decorating. I love the way it all came out. The color scheme feels so rich and cohesive with everything around the house. It just works perfectly. There's so many ribbons and details, and I love the double tree this year. Let me know down below in the comments if you learned anything from today's video that you might implement into your home decorating this year. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much. Happy holidays and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!